Hi guys, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play, a game called Thomas Was Alone. Uh, this was suggested to me, um, I bought it, downloaded it, played it a little bit, and it seems to be my kind of game. It's a little minimalistic platformery type BBO, but we're going to start a new game so you can see the little bit that I've already played. Uh, half minimalistic platformer, half awesome British narration, so you know. Why wouldn't I enjoy it? So, let's play Thomas Was Alone. Thomas was alone. Wow, a weird first thought to have. So that's it. That's all the intro that you're given. Uh, this guy is Thomas. He's a little, uh, little red, red rectangle, as you can tell. And uh, the idea of the game is Thomas to... decided oh. to start listing his observations for posterity. <laughs> One. The whole alone thing. Two. Portals. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three. Falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Falling! Yay! What a skill Thomas has for falling. Interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. <laughs> think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to. What's the word? Jump. It worked! Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. <laughs> the great mystery of the jump. Oh no. A big jump. But Thomas noted. There was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him, but gently. Good job, Thomas. You did it. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Oh God, he Thomas, run! It might even be doing so on purpose. Nah. Paranoia. <laughs> Little does Thomas know. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. I guess we'll never know. Sorry, it just might have been paranoid programs again. there. But Thomas <laughs> could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. His skills at inverted falling. Have been designed just for him. He wondered oh. why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. Too obvious for Thomas. Thomas the rectangle. Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. So that's the he checkpoint. He made another mental note. Four, water. Not good to be avoided. Good advice if I've ever heard it. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. Or jumping. I like this level. I, like, I love the lighting in this game, it's so simple and yet it really works. But then again, that's what this whole game is about. Simple, but works. 
括了 Lily Thomas. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. Look at all this jumping that's happening. It's ridiculous. He, he just wished he had someone to share it with. And then, oh, we've got some story first. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? My favourite character, Chris. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually. Not technically graceful, it's probably, probably the wrong word, but, you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Damn it, Thomas. You're such a dick. Why don't you try and make friends? Ah! Too many platforms all over the place. Platforms all over my screen. Don't worry, Chris. I'll help you. So, we've solved the problem of Thomas and Chris. And this is pretty much what this game is, to be honest. Awesome narration, a little bit of platforming going on. Quirky characters like Chris the Square and Thomas the Rectangle. Okay, this was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it. Which, of course, made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Great, Grace. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. <laughs> Unfortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch-pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Poor Chris. It's just not your day, is it, Chris? Chrissy, Chrissy, Chris. Was this good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where had that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. <laughs> Whoever wrote this is a genius. I just want to say that. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. <laughs> he seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. <laughs> How? Can't even hope make the noise. Next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. Uh. <laughs> How dangerous is this? Like they'll be joining together again. Ah! <laughs> Stupid troll platform. There we go. That's it. 1.6. Oh, oh, what's this? 
<gasps> John knew. He knew that this was his chance. A moment wow. to shine. <laughs> this was game day. Oh, John. <laughs> My other favourite character. I'm not even sure if that's how you're supposed to do it. But this fair enough. would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. It's not trapped. Where did they come from, anyway? <laughs> Stupid little dot things. Cramping John style. John inhaled the air of the open space. Whoa! It smelled of awesome. <laughs> it smelled of awesome. Time indeed. to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. And he did. Look at him John jumping. Decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. Ah, oh, see, I like John. You Much could nicer tell character from the than sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. Because <laughs> that's how a normal shape, that's how a normal quadrilateral works, right? John, you're in the way of Chris. There we go. Adventure! Adventure! There's no adventure down here. Just, just some squares. Let me jump over you! Ha ha! Woohoo! What's gonna be next on our adventurific adventure of adventure times? Oh wait, no! John! <laughs> You're needed back here! Muscles flexing. <gasps> A jump that even John cannot make. John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he oh. was seen to help the oh. little guys. Chris. There we go, good job. Oh, these are fun to work out, I like this game. John, you're needed, man. I know, you're stuck. to do the same thing. Oh no, Chris! Ah, oh, what are we gonna do? Okay, there we go. Oh. It would be nice if just once I could select the right direction and I have to cycle through both characters. so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. <laughs> Yay! Yay for John! Okay, I think it's Thomas. You're gonna need to go and help Chris. Ah! Oh no! Shoot. I fell all the way down the bottom. Ah! Come on. Oh, 
taxing. Oh, not really taxing, but you know. The angry orange one was less immediately likable, but his <laughs> unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. <laughs> tutting. <laughs> Oh, Chris. How can someone not like Chris? I have no idea how that worked, but it sure did. And with the end of this level, I think we are done with this video. We are up to 2.1. Oh, 1.10. Oh, maybe we're not this done with this video. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Ah! Stop bouncing on John! That's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. He decided to keep the dots as a pet. Well, there we go. Now we're at the end of that chapter. Increasing the extreme, eh? Here we are at chapter 2.1, but Claire, we're introduced to Claire, but that's it. We're not going to see Claire in this video, I'm afraid. Thanks for watching. Oh, God, I'll just, just ignore that. Thanks for watching. Uh, this has been Thomas Was Alone. My name is Fungus Trooper, and I hope that you're enjoying the new LP. See you next time for more, well, an introduction to Claire, apparently. See you then. Bye-bye.